The following video is brought to you in part by the amazing Patreon producers you see before you. If you'd like to show your support, you can do so at patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. Your support means the world to me, and I love you so much. Now let's get to it. What's up, Dan Dans? Welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday. In today's episode, we are going to play a little bit of Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Okay. Now, I've been open and honest with you guys in the past that I am not a huge fan of Mortal Kombat 3. And as you know, Mortal Kombat Trilogy is basically an ultimate edition. It's an expanded edition of Mortal Kombat 3. I guess ultimate's the wrong word, because there also exists ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. So Trilogy is like the uh, the fucking, the extra crazy edition. Crazy with a K. But I'm not a huge fan of these games, first and foremost, not because they're bad, not because I don't enjoy them, but because I fucking suck at them. I am terrible at Mortal Kombat 3. I nailed a nice uppercut there. I'm Liu Kang, if you didn't catch that right in the beginning. Uh, I'm terrible at Mortal Kombat 3, always have been. Just never really got good at it, so this is not going to be a fantastic performance. I want you guys to know that right now. But Mortal Kombat Trilogy and Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, these have all been kind of blind spots so far for Mortal Kombat Monday, and I want to rectify that. See, those two-hit combos, that's about all I know how to do. <laughs> and it's really just me going like square, square, triangle. I am playing this on PlayStation, if you were wondering what version I'm playing. Let's hit him with a little bit of sweet. Press this button right here. Now, Dan Dan's, I don't know how to do that fatality. But I enabled the cheat menu, and I put on one-button fatalities for the sake of entertainment. I figured you guys would appreciate that. <laughs> That's a great little feature to throw in the game. A cheat menu, which if you don't know how to activate it, you go into the options menu, you hold L1, L2, R1, R2, and up. And you wait a second or two, and then you hear BOOM! And then the question mark that was in the middle is now accessible. See, these first two fights, I'm not doing that bad, but just, just give it some time. You know what I mean? I'm, it's gonna... The wheels are gonna fall off, and when they do, it's gonna be embarrassing. Here's a little bit of inside info. That green hole back there, my brother and I used to speculate constantly when we were kids about what that hole was about where it led to, where it comes from. Uh, we questioned whether or not it was possible to fall into that hole. Uh, it's not, but you know, you, you never know. <laughs> How about a brutality, guys? I have never pulled off a brutality in my life in these old school games. Look at all the fucking legs. It's just, it's pure comedy. There's like six legs on screen right now. You know, unless Cabal had eaten a bunch of people, <laughs> I don't think all those legs should be on screen. Because I only exploded one man. You know what I'm saying? Most of you probably don't know that I have a large pet snake. He is a Lavender California King Snake. His name is Prince. Uh, and he's just off screen here because I'm recording this. Not in the normal room where I record these. And he just scared the shit out of me because he's climbing in a slithering all over his enclosure and he was all the way up on one wall and then he fell and it made a big sound and i was like oh shit what's going on over there fuck we've got mortal kombat 3 Liu kang versus mortal kombat 2 oh dude i had that shit timed it just didn't work this is bad see we're three fights in i'm getting my shit pushed that dude f practically a flawless victory so here's what we'll do. Usually I have a rule. I will play with one character, and if that character gets killed, I can no longer use them. Being that Mortal Kombat Trilogy has a rather large roster, instead of the killed, like, fatality version, we'll just do, if I lose with them, I will try somebody else. So you guys are really going to get a lot of exposure into how bad I am at this game. So Liu Kang is out. Dude, let's get nutty right off the bat. Fuck it. Let's let's be Motaro. <laughs> We're about to make Motaro look worse than he did in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. You know what I'm saying? Even if we've got four legs for him here, he's going to be performing like he's got one. I'm sorry, Motaro. Check this out. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> See? I still can't do anything. 
How do I do any of his gimmicks? Damn, that's some damage right there. There's like no proper way to close the distance though. And I don't know how to do any of Motaro's, uh, any of his moves. Oh, that looks like a grab move. <laughs> that's a little sum. That's a little sum. What's up? What's up, Kung Lao? Stole that round. I don't think so. You don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know how you do it here in the soul chamber. You stand a toe to toe with Motaro, brother. I don't know who that impression was supposed to be. It's, it sounded a little bit like Hulk Hogan at the end. We are not about to let this White Lotus Society douchebag take down Motaro. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Forgot about these PlayStation 1 loading times, but it's okay. We're gonna get through it. In the time it takes to load, I can remind you guys that um, Triangle X Squared Circle, the wrestling game retrospective series, is now about, what, nine or ten episodes deep, I think? WWF Royal Rumble on the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo is coming up right around the corner. Probably at the end of this month, you'll see that one. It's exciting, man. I really like doing that show. What? Oh, no! Cyrax, you cyborg mustard motherfucker Kofi Kingston when you don't have your mask on. Jerk. Speaking of Kofi Kingston, if you guys do not listen to the New Day Feel the Power podcast, let me tell you something. You are missing out. I, I loved the New Day as wrestlers when I did watch WWE. I can't stomach it now. It's terrible. But when I did watch WWE... I liked Kofi a lot, and I was actually a fan of all of the New Day. And their podcast is so fucking good. It is so good. How do I do any of his moves? Man? Let's learn. Let's learn a couple. What do you think? Backward, forward, nothing. Nothing's going on. I I never really remembered how um, defensive the fighters are in trilogy. It's like the, he. I feel like a lot of these guys are only counter punching. You know what I mean? Like, people aren't being that aggressive against me. Which I'm not used to. But I think I cut myself off in the middle of talking about the New Day podcast. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. I highly recommend it. Those guys are best friends in real life. So the weird, like, silly antics that they get into on screen and in the ring. They do the same thing on their podcast. But to the nth degree. I really recommend it. It's very funny. That's the best part about it, too, is it's funny. It's not a super smart, in-depth podcast, but you're going to learn a lot about where these guys come from and how they think and what they're into. It's very fun. I recommend it. Dude, Striker, what is your fucking problem? Fucking Paul Blart Mall Cops got himself a little submachine gun, so he thinks he's hot shit. Come here, you dickhead. He's trying to do his little... uh little baton rabble rouser move but you can't do those special moves to my big ass so it's not working check that out bitch check it out again what's up come here come here, come here. let me show you something let me show you something about something what about this <laughs> playing as motaro i feel like i'm cheating because i'm not like i should be losing these fights i'm not good oh man Man, Striker really pops you up big time with that combo, doesn't he? Check it out. Boom. Can he not block that? Can I just do that over and over? Let's see. Yep. Come here. Come here. Oh, no! That's going to be it for Motaro. Which is fine, because I felt a little dirty playing as a boss character and putting in very minimal effort, but still pulling out the win. Pretty sure I pressed start. There you go. Whenever you're ready. Come on, man. What have you guys been playing lately? I'm going to let you guys... Ooh, let's check out Baraka. I just finished Darksiders Genesis on PlayStation 4. Now, if you guys are Darksiders fans, you know what the deal is. But if you're not, I'll tell you. The Darksiders games 1, 2, and 3, they are action-adventure games. They have RPG elements to them in the sense... Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> in the sense that you can upgrade your character and uh, unlock new gear and new abilities. I played Darksiders, I want to say it was Darksiders 2, and it was fine. I didn't love it, so I played it for like four or five hours and I was kind of like, I get it, this isn't for me. 
I moved on to something else. That was a couple of years ago. Darksiders 3 came out. I didn't play it, but I did download it, because if you're a PlayStation Plus member, we got that shit for free just a month or two ago. Haven't played it yet, though, but Darksiders Genesis came out, and I knew... Oh, man, I just got rocked. Man. <laughs> I knew I had to play Darksiders Genesis, because it's not like the other Darksiders games. It's basically a Diablo clone. And let me tell you something, Dan Dans. They did a fan... Fantastic jobs. Jobs? <laughs> they did a fantastic job. I'm losing my fucking mind. Let's talk about Noob Saibot. We're going to be fighting at the Pit 3, so we might see something crazy going on. Darksiders Genesis is... If you could combine an action-adventure slash RPG game like Darksiders or like... Um, not that they're RPGs, but like DMC... That's kind of what it is. It's like a Diablo clone, blood, blood. Man, I'm having a stroke. I can't speak today. I got, I got fucking something wrong with my brain. Let me call the fucking, call me an ambulance, so I can learn how to speak again. What? What? Fuck. <laughs> Cause the uh, the combat in Diablo most of the time, I kind of felt like I was just holding down a button, and I was just like, oh, this is this is my move. I, I walk into the room. I hold this button down and then everybody dies and I move on to the next room. In Darksiders Genesis, it's a lot more, the combat's a lot more involved, I would say. To where, with my one character, War, what's the deal? Oh, he didn't knock us down. With War, uh, he's a lot more melee focused. So I would use my gigantic sword and I would slash people up with the weak attack, which is square, and then the heavy attack, which is triangle. But then I would use some of my abilities. Hold down L1, press one of the face buttons. There's all kinds of different abilities mapped. You unlock these like grabber hands and this like boomerang you can throw. And that's just war. Strife is another character who has guns. He's got like five different types of ammo that he can use. And uh, he's got his own set of abilities. It's a lot of fun, man. I highly recommend Darksiders Genesis. If you were on the fence about it, I pu I'm putting it over big time. I recommend it. And I think it's fairly cheap. I think it's 40 bucks. I could be wrong about that. But I think it's like, it's kind of a, a budget price. Dude, I'm f getting asshole annihilated. Flawless victory. I told you guys I wasn't good. So you can't be mad at me. You can't be coming in here being like, oh, I thought you were going to get all the way to the end. I told you what to expect. I don't even remember how to do Johnny's fucking flashball deal. Whatever. Oh my god! Just flash kick into nothing! Dude, this is no bueno. But you, you know what this calls for? This calls... This calls for me to turn the volume up. Because these are desperate times, Dan Dans. And desperate measures are called for. Desperate measures in the shape of Kintaro. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked still. But we're going to look good doing it. <laughs> what are we, four fights deep? I fought Cyrax? I don't even remember fighting Cyrax. Oh, dude. See, this is no good. I'm so bad at Mortal Kombat 3 and all of its fucking brothers. Just terrible. Maybe I can just spam this big stomp move. Nope. <laughs> he popped me up like he was doing a fucking ollie with my forearmed ass. Come here. Just, just come here. What if I back him in a corner, huh? What do you think about that? Fuck. Come here. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of this. Stomp on your face. You Fucking mall cop piece of shit. Check it out. Check it out. Boom. That's what I think. Get out of here when you're flying across the studio ass. We're putting this guy away. He's been a thorn in our side for two shit. <laughs> I had a whole promo lined up to land my stomp move. Look at this. Every time I move, he moves. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Check this out. <laughs> that didn't work at all. But that did. 
And that's what matters. Right into my big old punch. Punch him again. How did- Oh, he blocked my grab. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Big, big old, big old uppercut, big old punch! Put him away. Perfectly fair and square. We didn't do anything wrong. We're just playing as Kintaro. You know what I'm saying? And Stryker doesn't like it, but them's the breaks, pal. Maybe if you were a real police officer, you'd have something to say about it. But you're not. You're just a digital man. Now, we got to look good here for our, for our boy Shao Kahn in the back. I'm really... Why am I... Why are my punches not knocking him away? Look at that big old teep. That front kick right there. Like an ox 50 feet, I'll tell you that much. Get up in the sky, drop down, and then get knocked out, apparently. <laughs> that didn't go according to plan at all. Hoot. 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 We're landing some strikes. We're landing some strikes. Missed the stomp. How about the grab? Nope. How about the grab? Nope. How about the grab? Nope. How about the grab? <laughs> Let's talk about that stomp again. We're putting him away. Dude, Jax is no more, man. No more Jax. Did you hear that? Did you hear about that thing that was on the news that they said, no more Jax? Kintaro said it. It looks like he's holding the dragon coin. This is just a slow descent into madness. Me playing Mortal Kombat Trilogy and getting absolutely annihilated. You just, this is a, you're looking straight into my brain. And uh, I'm a fucking, I'm a maniac. Oh, Jack steals it! Puts Kintaro away in the third round. That's about all I'm good for when it comes to Mortal Kombat Trilogy, I guess, is doing commentary. Because there's certainly not anybody lining up to see me play this goddamn game. Let's see what we can do with Raiden. And you press the select button to get that MK1 costume. You know what I'm talking about? I know the ins and outs. I know the secrets. I know the deal. Am I good at the game? No. But we established that right in the beginning. So it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. There's Cyrax back there. He's stuck back there because I fucked him up earlier. Those palm strikes to the face. Call him Boss Rootin'. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the lightning. Talk about the uppercut. Jax don't know what hit him. I'm going to tell you. Uh... <laughs> I really felt like I was building some momentum there. So I started talking some shit. And it didn't pan out. Oh boy. Oh boy. A little bit, a little bit of flying kick. What do you think? A little bit of sweep action. God, shit in my ass. Oh no, brutality! The God of Thunder was just exploded by a beef man by the name of Jackson Briggs. Listen, man, I'm not proud of it, but that's what happens, man. So the God of Thunder Raiden falls to a normal man. A, a, a mere mortal, as some might say. And I think the only way that we can avenge Raiden is to use one of Raiden's best friends in battle. Shao Kahn. <laughs> if you've seen Mortal Kombat Annihilation, the beautiful film, the wonderful film, you know that Shao Kahn and Raiden are actually brothers. Is that canon for the games? No. <laughs> But it's a, it gave me an excuse to play as Shao Kahn, and I'll take it. Because I need some way to win. How do I do your moves, man? Back and forward. Oh, there's the hammer. Check my little bit of... Check my little bit of... Uh. <laughs> oh, man, Shao Kahn walks fast. You know how you're playing with your little brother or something, and you just go, hold on, let me get my buttons. That's what I'm doing, but with live opponents. <laughs> it's not working in my favor. Dude, I feel like in the new games, everybody's move is just backward, forward, square. Or like down, forward, square. And I'm playing this shit and like nothing works for anybody. <laughs> and the computer just knows exactly where to stand so I can't hit them. And it's, uh, I'm calling bullshit. It's not fair. Jack's just 2 and owed Shao Kahn. 
You guys can make fun of me in the comments. You can do whatever you want. I told you I was bad. <laughs> I'm just... This game, first... Okay, the game's fucking hard, first of all. Is it excuse time? Maybe it's excuse time. I've always had trouble with this goddamn game. I'm just not good at it. I don't understand how I'm supposed to hurt the computer sometimes. Because they know everything I'm going to fucking do. The second I creep forward, they creep backward. And it's just, it's completely unfair. And I'm like, all bits and all jokes aside, like, I do mean that. Like, it's unfair. What would really be fair is if I could figure out how to do Goro's fireball. Fucking back, back something. Hey, ha, 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 bitches. Wait, what was it? What was it? I don't remember. Oh no, this is bad. Maybe it's not bad. If I just stand back, he wasn't really doing anything. Check this out. <laughs> Goro's backhand, backhanded uppercut to me was always awesome. As is this level right here, which is a, a mix-up, an amalgamation of like three other different levels. Look at this, dude. I walk forward, he walks backward. I walk backward, he... Look at this. He knows exactly what I'm gonna do and I don't think it's fair. People get mad at me when I say I don't really like Mortal Kombat 3 and they're like, bro, it's the best one, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I just, I think one of the reasons I never liked this is because I always felt like it just wasn't fun. I felt like the computer fucked me up all the time. But we're not gonna we're not gonna lose sleep over that. We're gonna move on. We're gonna take on the next battle, which is I believe an endurance round. So I should have two opponents here. And if we win this one, we gotta fight our cousin Motaro. <laughs> oh shit! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Come here, Johnny Cage. You know what? In the movie, this fight went in your favor, but this time, I don't think so, pal. This is $500 wrist tape, asshole. Boom. Baraka, you don't stand a chance. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about those blades. They ain't nothing. How do I do my fireball? <laughs> really, I really wish I remember how to do the goddamn fireball. Oh, man, I gotta, I gotta pay attention. I got my throat slit four times in a row because I was worried about the goddamn fireball. Okay, I think it's back, 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 X, which is ridiculous. Why do I have to press four directional buttons? Why are you... Dude, you're running away. Did you guys watch UFC 248? Adesanya versus Romero. Listen, I like both guys. I kind of wanted Yoel Romero to win just for the sake of the... Like upsetting what you think is supposed to happen you know like obviously the the hot young prospect should take out the old lion who's past his prime you know damn i just got my ass kicked as goro so the fight goes down it's not a very good fight and then after it yoel romero is just like i came to put on a fight and uh israel adesanya ran the whole time that's not what these people paid to see and if that were true I think it would be a good excuse. But Romero can say that Adesanya ran. But Romero barely threw any offense anyway. It takes two to tango, dog. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> this endurance round. Cause I'm just gonna die. It's not even gonna be a competition. They're just gonna pick me apart. And I'm just going to get my ass kicked. Huh. This is going suspiciously well. <laughs> Why is this going so well? I'm very, uh... I don't trust this. Oh, man. I had him. What does Aggressor do? I don't really remember what the aggressive shit does. How did I win that round? Do they, they must make the opponents easier for the aggression for the endurance rounds because i can't i couldn't beat fucking striker to save my life earlier you know what i mean and i just took out johnny cage and baraka they're they're babying me <laughs> they feel bad for me so they're taking it easy for sure 
Baraka might have had just about enough. <laughs> it always bothered me how when the palette swap ninjas get swept, their animation finishes with their legs in the air. It always kind of bothered me. Might be the only person in the world who ever noticed that or was bothered by it, but it's true. It's damn true. Did you guys watch my video about my top 10 favorite uh, wrestlers of all time? It was a subscriber milestone poll winning topic for the, I want to say it was the 55,000 subscriber mark. That was a very fun video to do. Oh my goodness, we won. And now it's time to pull off a fatality. Oh yeah. Pull that hand out, take him to hell. I, uh, I can't believe I won. They must make those opponents easier. But yeah, my top 10 favorite wrestlers of all time video was very fun to make. Obviously, WWE fucked with it quite a bit. They pulled it down three times. I did have to make some edits to it, um, which you will notice if you go back and watch it because some of my sentences are fucked up, and that, that's very annoying. But my only other option other than doing that was to um, take the video down and re-upload it. But the video was performing pretty well. I was happy with it, and I didn't want to lose that progress. So a couple sentences being choppy. I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it. Because God forbid I use four seconds of a Bret Hart entrance from 2000 or from uh, 1997. You know what I mean? Even though I'm losing, this is still better than I would expect to do against Motaro. Wait, is this the key? Is this the key? Oh my goodness. My dog, Patches Lugosi, sitting on the chair next to me just went... Because he can't believe it. He can't believe I pulled it off. It's a fucking... It's a miracle. Alright. <laughs> this is more what I was expecting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He let me win that round just to get my hopes up, I think. But yeah, the, the two subscriber milestone poll videos... Uh, there's been two of them that have been on hold for a couple months just because I've been so busy with the other all the other videos that i've been making and everything else but it's time to pay them off so the top 10 wrestlers video is out and the top 10 favorite championship belt designs of all time that video is right around the corner so you guys can expect that within the next couple weeks or if you support the channel over on patreon.com 616 entertainment that shit's already up you can watch that shit right now all you gotta do is sign up at any level you know what i'm saying the Patreon has been climbing, which is really fun. Uh, I just tweeted the other day that ever since I started the Patreon, it has shown steady growth. There has never been a month that was worse than the month before it, which to me is amazing. Uh, I'm so grateful that anybody is willing to pay for the stuff that I make, and uh, it really makes a huge difference to me, so thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, I, I like to throw up some early access over there every once in a while to make the patronage extra worth it, along with the exclusive podcast that I put up, usually once a month. I like to do Q&As over there. I take questions from you guys all the time. And uh, the goal that I have right now is that if we can hit the second tier, we hit the first one, which is for me to introduce a brand new gaming podcast, which will be coming soon. But the second tier, if we can hit that, is a Patreon-exclusive season of Let's Play Friday. That would be pretty goddamn fun. So if you are interested in that, feel free to check out the page. Right now, I am interested in taking Reptile and beating Motaro to a bloody pulp. Because that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a flawless victory. I'm taking this dude out. He doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance in hell. He hasn't touched me yet, and he won't touch me for this entire round, I promise. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Unanswered offense. We're just taking a breather. <laughs> just taking a breather, that's all. Jump kick city, dude. Jump kick city. Can we make it happen? Can we spam? Can we cheese the jump kick? Not if he just tosses us over his head like a pile of shit. Hut, 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 hut. Oh, dude, we were so close. Reptile very nearly taking a round from Otaro. 
We're gonna try a couple more characters, and then if, if I don't make any headway, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Last week's episode of Mortal Kombat Monday was ranking all seven fatalities from the original Mortal Kombat game. And that video is performing pretty well, so I want to say thank you to everybody who has checked that one out. But this week I was like, yeah, let's let's get a little nutty. Let's do some gameplay. And uh, let's touch a game we haven't ever had on Mortal Kombat Monday, which is Mortal Kombat Trilogy. It's going about as well as I thought. Actually, you know what? It's probably doing better than I thought it would in, this, in the sense of my performance. Because I'm so bad at this game, I didn't think I was going to get to the sub-boss. No fucking way. <laughs> I just figured I would just get annihilated over and over. But, oh no! Oh no! It's just, I'm just spamming jump kicks. Straight jump kicks. And it's to no avail. I don't think we have any answer from Wataro. Or if you've seen Mortal Kombat Annihilation, you remember the fantastic quote. Um, what Motaro said it to Jax. Without your weapons, you are no match for Motaro! Want to hear something funny? My girlfriend is a huge fan of Veronica Mars. And last year we watched the entire series of Veronica Mars. Let me tell you something, guys. Fantastic show, if you haven't watched it. Plus, Kristen Bell is real nice to look at. How you doing? But the guy who played Motaro is in an episode of Veronica Mars. And when he showed up on screen, I said to my girlfriend, I was like, I know who that is. And she was like, who is it? And I was like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but I know his face. I know I've seen him in something. And I, it's on the tip of my tongue. And when the episode ended, I was like, that's goddamn Motaro. <laughs> so yeah, it was, uh, it was my world and her world colliding. Man, this is, this is some bullshit. <laughs> This is just straight up bullshit. God damn it. <laughs> There's probably people out there who are really good at Mortal Kombat Trilogy or all the all the fucking threes who are like, no, you're you're fighting them all wrong. What you need to do is this. Listen, man. I know. <laughs> I know I'm wrong. And you're probably right. But here's what we're gonna do. We are going to play. One more character, and we're going to see if we can get past Motaro. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to break the fucking rules. What rules am I talking about? I'm talking about the lost rules. Goro is stepping in to take out Motaro, and that's all there is to it. Call the fucking cops if you don't like it. You understand? Now, I don't normally like to say ahead of time what the next episode of Mortal Kombat Monday is going to be. I usually like it to be a surprise. But I am going to tell you guys to expect an episode uh, covering Spawn in Mortal Kombat 11 right around the time he comes out. Maybe even next week. If not next week, definitely the week after. But that's going to be a fun one. I am looking forward to playing as Spawn. That right there is how you take out a centaur. You send in a Shokan Prince to do the fucking dirty work. You understand? Check this out. That's just a mean right hand. Right straight. Somebody call boss rooting for me again, will ya? Motaro just no-sold my uppercut, which I'm not happy about. BOOM! That's how you put away the sub-boss. Motaro is no match for Goro. You saw it here. It's canon. It's confirmed. And now we're gonna take this little bitch boy named Shao Kahn and we're gonna put him in his fucking place. You understand? He thinks he's so high and mighty because he's got that goddamn helmet with the teeth on it. Look, pal, all you are is a trumped up Triple H. And as I called him Triple H, he hit me with his hammer. I just called him Triple H because I figured he was going to beat everybody. Fuck. Son of a bitch. That was really aggressive. I believe we can do this, though. Shit. 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 Come on. <laughs> if he will just stand still and let me hit him, motherfucker. That was unbelievable. Okay, I said we were going to play one more guy, but we got past Motaro. 
So we're going to set the clock back a little bit. We are going to give Shao Kahn a few tries here. Goro went down. Kind of without even a fight. It was kind of embarrassing. But you know who I think stands a better chance against Shao Kahn? Motaro. <laughs> Oh man, I should have only played as the bosses and called this Mortal Kombat Trilogy Boss Rush mode. <laughs> but see, here's it's it's a perfect story. It writes itself. Motaro suffered how did my one kick not hit him? Did you guys see that? I kicked him and it like bounced off. Man, this is violent. I was going to say that it's, it's the perfect story because Motaro suffers an embarrassing loss to Goro and he hits the gym and he actually becomes the greatest version of Motaro we've ever seen. But uh, maybe even that is not any match for Shao Kahn. <laughs> I think we did as much damage to him as Motaro as we did as Goro. That's bad news. That's really bad news. But I think... I have the answer. And I think the answer is pretty obvious. If Goro and Motaro could not stand toe to toe with Shao Kahn, I know who can. Striker. <laughs> I threw you off with that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is no good, dude. Striker's going down in a heap. I guarantee it. Oh no! <laughs> Couldn't. Oh, you used to be able to just duck under his shoulder press. I guess that shit doesn't work anymore. Oh my god! Just destruction. Just straight destruction. I don't think I've done any more damage to him than that. I, I think with every character I've landed like one hit. And a striker, we're not even going to get that. Two block shots and that's it. Here we go, Dan Dans. We are going to check out Kintaro versus Shao Kahn. And if we can't make something happen, that's it. That's going to be a wrap on this episode of Mortal Kombat Monday. But what I need you all to do right now is your device. You've got your phone in your hand. You're sitting at your computer. Whatever you're doing, I need you to put your hand on the screen. I need you to send all of your energy into Kintaro. You know what I'm saying? I need the will and the passion and the strength of every man and woman around the world. Send it to Kintaro. We're putting Shao Kahn in an early grave. You understand? Just like this. <laughs> As I miss four punches in a row. Oh no. <laughs> Flawless victory. <laughs> Guys, you didn't send enough energy. You did not send enough energy. Check this out, Shao Kahn. You think you're so tough? Why is my stop not working? That was some bullshit. Oh, good lord. That's it, Dan Dans. This was Mortal Kombat Monday. We played some Mortal Kombat Trilogy. We got to the boss. I mean, that's pretty successful, right? I love you, and I will see you next week.